So a few weeks ago, I was surfing some internet uh, looking for blank skateboards. I was looking for something that uh, we could put our own graphics on. And there's a lot of companies out there that sell finished blank skateboards, but they all come with a clear coat on them, which makes it difficult to do your own graphics. You can't do wood stain, it's hard to get paint to stick to those. So I wanted to try to find something with unfinished wood. And I stumbled across a company that actually does one better than that. It comes with unfinished wood, and it also comes uncut, so we can do our own shapes. So I ordered a couple of these. I actually got three because I figured I'd make a mistake or two along the way. Today we're going to walk through some of the steps that I took to turn these into a skateboard. First step is deciding on a shape. Um, cool thing about having the uncut boards is you really do whatever shape you want. You don't just have to stick with the standard, regular old boring skateboard shape. So I sketched out a few different designs, um, did a few different takes on it, and finally decided on one that I liked. Uh, cut that out. Thanks, Vanna. And we are going to transfer that onto the bottom of the board. Just do a pencil outline, um, and then we'll cut it out after that. So Parker and I just finished tracing the shape of the skateboard onto the deck. Uh, what are we going to do next? Oh, we are going to cut it. I'm going to clamp it to the edge of the table and get cutting. Got the skateboard and and we cut it out. That's the that's the second step. Parker is correct. So last night we used the jigsaw to cut the rough shape. Whenever you use the jigsaw, it doesn't really come out the cleanest. So today we're gonna smooth out the edges. Uh, we're gonna use the belt sander before we move on to the next step. Uh, the rough sanding is done, uh, the edges are now fairly smooth, but I don't know if you can tell in the video, they are still square. So cut it out with the saw, it's the square edge. So the next step is to round out the edges a little bit. I am going to use a sander for that. If you have a small handheld router, round up a bit, probably a whole lot easier, but um, I don't have one of those, so I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way and just take it to the sander, take my time, uh, smooth this out a little bit. Today, um, I did the sanding on this one, rounded the edges a little bit. It looks like a skateboard. As you can see, we've started working on some of the graphics. So for the graphics on the boards that I'm making, I wanted to use some of the drawings that Parker and I have done over the last couple of months. These drawings that you see before you are all things that um, the two of us have worked on together. So he starts, he makes a line, and then it's my responsibility to basically turn it into a character. I selected kind of some of my favorites, and I wanted to find a way to transfer those onto the boards. For the first one, I decided I wanted to try to use this guy right here. Uh, based on the way it's drawn, I thought it would make a pretty cool stencil. So I scanned it, threw it into Photoshop, made it a little bit bigger, and then spent about an hour and a half cutting out this stencil that you see before you right here. If you've never done stencils like this before, especially on a skateboard because it's not flat, I'd very highly recommend this stuff. It's a tacky spray, repositionable is key. That got sprayed on the back and it allowed me to stick the stencil to the skateboard so that when I spray painted it, the colors didn't bleed through underneath.
For the next one, we chose this guy. Uh, totally different method on this one. We use the freezer paper method, and this one is still a work in progress, but you can see kind of step one, ink has been transferred to the board. Um, if you're not familiar with that, you can probably find videos online, pretty straightforward. Take a picture, scan it into the computer, and then print it back out on freezer paper. Uh, freezer paper doesn't soak up the ink, it's very, very wet, you flip it over, and then you can kind of rub it, and you get something like this. Um, so that one's a work in progress. We'll walk through the steps of finishing that tomorrow. So the last white layer uh, did bleed through a little bit in some spots. Not the end of the world, I think I can fix it. But other than that, I think it came out pretty good. Parker, what do you think? Uh, I think they're pretty cool. Leo, do you like the skateboards? Um, yeah. Which one's your favorite? That one, that one, and that one. And there you have it. Today we applied a few layers of clear coat just to seal them, protect them, make them nice and shiny. And this is the final product. Now I'm gonna go skate.